Hey guys, Justin with AmericanMuscle.com here, and this is my detailed review of the Gibson 3-inch single exit catback exhaust system, available for all EcoBoost powered 2015 and up Super Crew F-150s, equipped with a five and a half foot bed. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about a few things you can expect when checking out a Gibson system for your new EcoBoost powered F-150. We're gonna talk about the sound a little bit, we're gonna break down the materials and construction, and then finally we'll give you a quick little walkthrough of the install. And honestly guys, it's gonna be a very quick and easy install here, one out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter, and we'll have a little bit more detail on that coming up later on. Plain and simple guys, you should be checking out the Gibson single exit exhaust system for that new EcoBoost F-150 if you're looking to make a little bit more noise but you want to spend the least amount of money in the process. Now that's because the Gibson is currently the most affordable option out there for your EcoBoost powered ride and it is going to come back by a limited lifetime warranty, which by the way is a great thing to have on your side when you're talking about a value cap back like the Gibson here, which typically doesn't utilize the best materials when it comes to corrosion resistance. So. With that said, let's get a little further into this cat back. Now, maybe some of you guys are familiar with Gibson, maybe some of you aren't, but if not, here is the deal. Again, they're gonna be one of your more affordable options out there when checking out aftermarket exhaust solutions, no matter what your application, whether it be truck or Mustang related. All of their stuff is gonna be built very well despite that low cost. It's all gonna fit great as we discovered, and it is gonna be backed by that limited lifetime warranty we just talked about. Now let's talk about the sound you can expect when checking out the single exit system here from Gibson. And honestly guys, on our EcoBoost powered F-150, it really was pretty enjoyable. I know at the end of the day, a lot of EcoBoost owners wanna keep things as quiet as possible. And while there will be quieter options out there in the aftermarket, the Gibson system certainly isn't over the top and it's certainly not obnoxious. In fact, I'm gonna give this one a very soft three out of five on my one to five or one to wake the neighbor scale. Again, you do hear it, but it's not really all that loud at all. Uh, you are gonna hear this one inside the cabin a little bit, but the drone is practically non-existent. The sound itself is gonna be shaped by Gibson's SFT Superflow Series muffler here, which is pretty cool because it features a chambered and a baffled combination. So you got a lot going on with this muffler here, but again, it is going to increase the sound overall, but it's still gonna keep things in check because again, guys, this is not the loudest system out there. Now this is gonna help increase the overall volume efficiency here, increasing your flow, of course, but it doesn't feature any internal packing, which is kind of nice because sometimes that internal packing, depending on what system you're looking at, can kind of degrade over time, changing your exhaust tone over time. So because of that, the Gibson is gonna maintain a very consistent exhaust tone over the years. But let's move away from the sound a little bit. Let's talk about some of the construction, some of the materials used in this system. And like we talked about earlier, guys, this is a value or entry level cap back. So with that said, don't expect the premium materials or premium welds that you might see with a thousand dollar plus systems. However, with that said, the Gibson unit is still built very well. It's built here in the USA and not overseas. Material wise, you are looking at aluminized steel here with the Gibson, which is pretty much par for the course when you're checking out any value or entry level cap back. Not a bad material per se when it comes to overall performance. However, it's just not gonna be as good at reducing surface corrosion as some of the more premium materials such as 409 or 304 grade stainless. Keep in mind guys, Gibson is still throwing a lifetime warranty at this thing, which is very rare because a lot of times with that aluminized steel, you see a year, maybe two or three year warranty with the systems. Not the case here again with the Gibson. They're throwing a limited lifetime warranty at this system, 
which definitely gets a big thumbs up from me. Now, ultimately guys, if you do like the system, you do like the sound it produces, but you prefer to grab it in a stainless steel construction, Gibson does make a system that is very similar to the one I have on the table with me here, but they use 409 grade stainless in place of the aluminized steel, but a little bit of material means a little bit more dough to you at the end of the day. Going even further with the construction, you'll find three inch mandrel bent tubing pretty much from tip to tip here. And speaking of tips, Gibson does throw in this massive four inch tip. Now this guy is actually made from premium grade 304 stainless steel, which is really nice because this is the part you're gonna see the most. And because it is made from that premium grade 304 stainless steel, it's gonna maintain a really nice finish pretty much throughout the entire lifespan of the exhaust system. So no rust, no corrosion, should look good for years to come. Keep in mind, this is Gibson's single exit system, so it is gonna give you a look very similar to stock. The exhaust is gonna dump right behind that passenger side rear tire. However, if you're after a slightly more aggressive or maybe modified look, Gibson does offer a dual three inch split system here as well. You can grab that in aluminized or even a full stainless option. It's gonna sound pretty similar to the single exit configuration here guys, because they all utilize the same SFT Superflow muffler. But again, it's something worth checking out if that's the look you're after. However, keep in mind, more material usually means more money. And that is the case with the Gibson dual exit systems. Now I've mentioned price a few times throughout this video and I'll say it again right here guys, this is going to be one of your most affordable options when it comes to turning up the volume in your new EcoBoost F-150. In fact, you're gonna be dropping right around $400 for this guy, which is very reasonable for an aftermarket cat back. And again, it's a great way to increase the volume without dropping top dollar on a more premium system. Like I mentioned earlier, when it comes to the install guys, expect a very straightforward one out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter here, maybe an hour or two in the garage or driveway before you're making some noise. This is going to be a direct replacement for all super crews out there with a five and a half foot bed. So because of that, don't expect to bust out the saws all here with this one because there is no cutting or no permanent modification needed. Instead, you're really looking at a basic socket set to get this guy in place. All right, guys, final thoughts on this product here from Gibson. If sticking to a very tight budget is your number one priority, but you still wanna get a little bit more sound out of that new F-150, the Gibson single exit system might just be your best option on the site. So that's my review of the Gibson three inch single exit system for your EcoBoost F-150, which you can find right here at AmericanMuscle.com.